Alright, hey guys, it's Brittany with British Creations, and I hope I can do this in one part, but I did a massive, massive project. I know I've been doing some really big projects recently, because I know I've seen a lot of people, um, a lot of people are more interested in seeing big, detailed projects and such like that, so I'm, um, uh, I'm really proud of this, and I hope you guys like this as well, um, and it's my first cake box, cake, stacking cake box, I, I've seen a lot of people do them, so, um, it's based off of a wedding theme, I guess. Um, but here it is. Um, it's browns, blacks, and creams, and whites, and golds, and silver, and silver. Um, it's really big. Um, so the boxes I used were actually these wooden boxes that I've had around my scrap room. If you guys have seen, like, uh, room tours and stuff, I have, like, these oval um, wooden boxes I picked up at a yard sale. Um, as I go through it, it might look... More familiar to me, um, I use the Lost and Found My 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 Eye paper. I think it's Record It, I believe. And I used a bunch of other paper lines, a bunch of other Prima lines. You can see some engraver, um, some Finnabar, and I also believe um, I used the Delight, I think. And I completely covered all of them with paper. Um, it took me forever. It took me like two and a half hours each box just to cover with paper. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I totally altered it. I also made a mini album and a couple other pieces to go inside because I wanted it to be a really great, um, you know, like a wedding gift and stuff. So let me quickly, you can see like the bottom of it. So let me show you. I'm going to show you the boxes individually, but let me just show you how it looks with it um, all stacked on top of one another. But I do have them so where they, they're like tilted a bit. Um, but I think it looks a lot better that way. So there it is. And let me show you. So hopefully I can do this really good and really, like, quickly, I guess. So here's the first one. This is the first little box. Um, I did put lace on all of them, you know, because I wanted it to look like cake. And this is one reason um, that it took so long. It's It has, like, the wooden boxes have, like, these hinges on them. It's how, like, the boxes are put together. So I had to do that. And I had to cut all the paper, cover all the boxes, ink all the sides, all that. Really pain in the butt. Um, but, yeah. So there's the papers. And then here I have a frame from Michaels. This is a flower from Lily. A bunch of, um, I layered some bur black burlap, um, some black rosettes and a doily, um, some tool, um, some tool and um, sheer, um, sheer tool. I guess I don't know another word for it. I have some. These are also Prima flowers that go along with the paper line. So I have that there. A couple of wild craft flowers. Some other. There's some clay. Um, I think these, what are these? Calla lilies. Um, there's a gold rose here and a bead. There's a heart. Wooden heart from Prima. I have a bicycle piece here from Saw Crafters that I stained. Um, and then inside the frame it says True Love. This is one of the journaling spots for the paper line. Um, I also use some of these berries, I believe, are also from Lily, and then more of those roses and the cow lilies and another Walker Craft flower. Um, over here, this is a vintage um, um, fabric um, flower that I picked up at, a, uh, picked up at yard, in the yard sale. Again, there's a rose, more of those little beads, and a pearl. And the back of the frame, I wanted it, you know, to look finished off, so I added a black rosette here and another flower from Lily, and a couple of their Wild Cook Crafts, and this is a Kaizu Craft little plastic egg. And let me show you the inside. So there's that. I painted them, and I put paper. This one also has a little uh, journaling spot here. It says, home is where the heart is. So it can, it's mostly about, like, recording memories. It can be from, like, when you have from your wedding all the way to when you have kids and you know just recording memories over the years um so let me show you the next one so here it is um this one here you can see some of the papers um beautiful lace here i put i don't remember where i got this lace but i probably lavish laces i don't know but I have that there, and then this is a Maya Road trim, which is super, super gorgeous. I thought it totally reminded me of a cake. Doesn't that totally remind you of a cake? I think, I just think it reminds me of a cake. And here's the top, too. I love, absolutely love this paper. Um, and here, I kind of have everything where the boxes sit perfectly on top of each other, and if someone, like, hits it by accident, it won't totally, like, fall off. So I have a flower here. I also put flatback pearls on the top of this trim. Um, here I have a couple other Walker Craft flowers. I have some Prima 
um, wooden pieces of the XO, which I stained and then put um, gold alcohol ink on. And then here I have the film, the Tim Holtz film strip with I glued this banner on, which says Memories Recorded, and that's from the paper line. And then here, this is a Michaels typewriter, which I, uh, alcohol inks gold. It's normally silver. And then this is another die cut from the paper line, which I rolled up to make it look like, you know, the typewriter is, you know, printing, or, you know, you, you someone typed on it. And that's what this hand is. It's from Saw Crafters, which I also inked and put some gold um, alcohol ink on because um, it looks like, you know, they're typing. And then these are more Prima flowers. And this is the beautiful, beautiful lace that I got from Thander, which I totally said I was going to make bows out of, which totally came out gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is also a wooden ticket from Saw Crafters that say love. And then there's a little glass bottle here, which I put some black alcohol ink in. And then I made my own little quill pen. And I got inspired from when I went to Washington, D.C. to make that. And then here's a chipboard piece from the paper collection, which I covered with paper as well in the back. And it says, where there is great love, there are always miracles. Um, and that's from Willa Cather. I think I said that right. And I know I'm speeding through this, but I have a lot to show you. So hopefully I can get through it. Um, and I apologize in advance for that. Um, and then these are two burlap, handmade burlap flowers from Jules. She's a jewel box. And then this is a beautiful... Um, black um, satin flower that I got from my Secret Santa, Irina. And this one, again, it's covered on the inside. This one, I also altered um, this paper on the bottom as well. Um, three burlap bags because I thought, you know, memories, you could put memorabilia, um, stuff from your wedding, like your wedding cake topper. I know a lot of people say that. Or if you um, have kids, you know, something, you know, just memorabilia. I know a lot of people like to do that. I know my mom has a whole box of stuff. So, yeah, just a prettier way to display it and keep it up. Um, see how it just locks in there? Like, if I move it a bit, it's not going to fall off. All right, I'm already at seven minutes. So here's the next one. Um, um, I'll start on the sides. Here's some of the, you know, here's the paper. Um, and here, um, with this beautiful lace here. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. It is a bit um, challenging, you know, to open and close the box, but um, there's a certain way to do it, and it, you know, it gets it gets easy after a while. And then this is bling trim from Michaels. And then again, I have this chipboard piece here from the collection, which I also covered in the back of it with paper and inked it. This is also a way to, you know, to keep everything snug in here. And then I also have a Wildcat Craft, oh no, this is a Kaiser Craft flower, actually, and another ribbon rose from Lily. Okay, and here I put more of that burlap trim, black burlap trim, and this is also, this is, um, this is from Saw Crafters as well, um, and then this beautiful, this is actually a lace piece, which I just cut a piece of the lace out, and I put that there, and that's from the piece by piece, um, I have a miniatures, um, metal, it's metal, um, what is this? Um, sewing machine. Um, this is um, Wildcat Craft Flower, and this is a beautiful flower that Thander sent me, and a beautiful cameo here. This um, beautiful black rose is from Betty Bomb Bomb, I believe. And then this is another one of those Prima flowers, some Wildcat Craft flowers, more of those beads or the little, you know, like the berries. Um, there's a there's um, a pearl here, and then a little um, one of those little sprays. Those bling sprays and then these are scrabble pieces here not from the actual game but you know from like a company and it says kiss and then i have um two more chipper pieces here there's the anchor and the doily from the paper line which i cover with paper and i also have this really cool owl of course i secretly put an owl on there <laughs> so really i think he's just so pretty and he goes really well with the paper line the colors so there's that one and this one i'm not going to actually open this one because i'm going to be on camera forever trying to close it. It doesn't take that long, but you know, it just, you know, it takes up time. So, um, it's pretty much like the other ones, just black with covered, painted black and covered with paper. And you can see here how everything just sits nice and snug. Ta-da! Okay, here's the bottom one. And this one actually has a burlap printed top, so it's nice and textured, really pretty. And it goes perfectly with the paper line. Again, here to just keep it in, um, 
face. This is another one of those beautiful roses from Betty Bomb Bomb, I believe. I believe. And then here I have a resin frame with this beautiful, these little cherubs kissing. That's from Saw Crafters, and I believe this is from the Piece by Piece. Another one of those Kaiser Craft flowers, and then more of those little berries from Lily. And then over here. This is a Saw Crafters fence, which I stained. There's a metal piece on here from, what is it? Um, 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 Butterbee Scraps. Another one of those um, bark hearts from Prima. Over here, I have another one of those Kaiser Craft flowers. Another one of the ones from Thander. Um, cherry Blossom here from Walker Craft. This is a spoon, metal spoon from Saw Crafters. Another pearl there. Another beautiful bow with that beautiful black lace. I used up all that black lace, by the way. This is another Prima flower that goes along with the paper line. And I also added these beautiful um, heart pearls. I forgot where I got them from. Probably online. Um, to the, um, the ribbon. You know, to the lace. To the bow. Um, and then in here I also have a bunch of little flowers. Um, and then there's a little teeny, teeny, tiny telephone. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a black telephone. And then this is a Prima resin camera, which I just inked in black. And another chipboard piece, piece, which is a playing card, which I also covered with paper. And here's some of, you know, here's the paper. This is from the paper line, by the way. This is engraver. And then here I have this beautiful black lace. Um, and then this teardrop, this gold teardrop. And then I put the square flatback pearls around that. And if I open this up, the mini album is in here. And there's the inside of that. And I did a camera. And this um, chipboard album is from Saw Crafters. And I also added um, one Michaels chipboard piece and three 4 by 6 chipboard pieces. Um, so, um, this is probably going to be a two-parter. But I did bind it with my cinch. And I used all the paper from... These are all the papers from the um, the collection. I wanted to keep the papers from the collection for the mini because there was only enough to make the mini. So that's why I did that. And that's why I used a bunch of other collections that coordinated great together. Um, I used my cinch, so I have a gold binding ring here. Um, so to start, um, and I, I inked everything in black with black. Um, so here I used that burlap again, rose the black rose trim and a beautiful... Um, these are really pretty. I don't know if I showed you up close, but they're really metallic and really gorgeous they have like mica and gold it's just really really pretty um very mixed media very beautiful um from prima and then i have a little um banner die cut piece which i popped up from the paper line so they can personalize it and um i just put some glitter in where the you know the camera flashes because i thought you know the camera flash and i also put glossy accents in here which is where the lens would be so you know it looks like a lens and it says a true love story never ends which i love that's one of the journaling spots and I used the larger, for the 4x6, these are all photo mats from the paper line. Like the journaling spots are all used on there. So here, these are pockets from the, I kept the mini really simple, but this is, uh, these are pockets from the paper line. Like I bought everything that coordinated with the paper line. Oh, I gotta fix this flower. It really got busted. Sorry guys. I know you guys think, oh wow. But I have to fix the flower. Okay. 13 minutes. So, um, I'm only going to pull one out, but I took two number eight tags and I inked them really well. I really like how they came out. And I added seam binding from Jewels that I won. Please go in. Okay. And I used black and the brown. This is one of those Prima flowers, and then I just have a bunch of the journaling spots. So it says for the record, and all the backs of them have like gray patterns. And then one, two, three, four, five journaling spot today, and then that one. So you can put like photos in the back and then write about them, which I really like, like wallet size photos. And then here, this is one of the die cuts. This is one of the stickers here, and this one I just I did a lot of journaling spots. So here, this one says remember these moments note hopefully you guys are like seeing this and then this one has a quote if you guys you want to read it hopefully so next page this is another one of those um you know the cards um and then this is a chipper piece it's just chandelier so i put that there and then here these are more chandeliers and there's glitter all in this because there's paper there's glitter on the paper and it gets everywhere <sighs> 
I wish it didn't, but I made a little like award banner little thing here using the lace, the rest of the lace I had from Thander, and then this is one of the Brads, of course. Um, and another one of the pockets with some tags, and I used the Brad, so there's chandelier one, and this one has a little girl on it, and I used the green seam bindings from Jewels, and these are seven gypsies tags, by the way, and this I actually glued um, two, two pockets together, but I'm not going to pull them all out because it's hard to get these tags in, because for some reason you have to like, and then this is one of the stickers from the paper line. And then here I saved the negatives, chipboard pieces from the cover, and I used them here to make, you know, like the camera. So I covered them with paper, um, and I put, um, you know, the little flash piece there, a doily, and then the here, so you can put a photo, you know, in the lens, like you're looking into the lens, like. Um, and then happy, this is one of the die cuts. Um, and then here, um, camera, another one of those Prima flowers, and then here I use one of the. Um, journaling spots has a pocket and a sticker. Really, you're gonna do this to me on camera? Again, just a bunch of journaling cards. And then here, I have another one of the pockets with um, with a bunch of ephemera. So bingo, this one. So lots of journaling. Um, this is a chipboard typewriter, and then more journaling cards, which I'm not gonna pull out. And then here, this is a Michaels frame, which is open, so you can put a photo in.